hello hello my cuties welcome back to another video um i know i have been very mia um i am trying to balance out um how to make my videos and my job because yeah <laughs> i get out later than i used to so um anyways in this video i am going to show you guys how i upcycled an old vase to make a super cute pencil holder for my little area in my classroom um if you have seen my video before you um know that i have recently have had a job change i am sorry i cannot talk today <laughs> but anyways um and i wanted something cute to put my pencils in so i made a super cute pencil holder so i am going to show you guys today how to make it um this is a very old vase so i can't have it linked in the description i'll have as much of the materials as i can in the description but um yeah you can use just like an old pencil holder or anything pretty much like that but um yeah, I'll just show you how I created mine and you can put your own spin on it. I would love to see your creations, so make sure you share those. Um, at the end of the video, my social media um, pages are up. I am so sorry. I cannot speak today. So um, we're just going to stop this intro here and we're going to get into the video. So we are starting this off by taping off some sections and this is an old vase that I had that I am just going to upcycle. You can use whatever um, cup or whatever thing, va old vase that you can upcycle, you know, like whatever you want to use to make your pencil holder. So. I am going to start taping these off so that I can create my pencil pattern. So on half of this I'm going to do a pencil pattern and on the other half I am going to do a notebook paper pattern. So I am starting off with the pencil because it is much harder for me and it has more layers. Well, it's not harder but it is it does have more layers so and it has a lot more colors in it as well so I am just going to eyeball this and just kind of tape off the sections that I need to and then another thing too if you are planning to do this I actually would suggest you start with the pencil section and do your patterns um, because if you use a lighter glitter for that paper piece and then you go in with the black or the yellow or whatever colors you're using for the pencil and it's darker if that glue isn't completely dried you may actually contaminate your glitter so that is just something that you want to keep an eye out on and this I just printed off this little triangle pattern from a pencil pattern that I had for a tumbler and it was the perfect size. So I am technically reusing the template for the pencil pattern. So I am just laying this down and I am actually going to start off by cutting the excess off after I finish aligning this just to kind of give me a better idea of how it's going to look and I am trying to align it the best I am I can even though I am going to use some um, vinyl strips to um, finish it off so like I said this is just all personal choice but you can obviously make this however you want if you want to do the whole thing in a pencil pattern you could do that as well if you want to do the whole 
something in a paper pattern, you can do that as well. Or um, if you would like to do like a composition notebook, you can do that as well. The possibilities are endless when you are crafting. <laughs> so after this, I am going to kind of um, just go through and use my chalk paint to paint all of the sections that I need because most of these are lighter um, and it is a much more of a slick surface. I do want to have something that the glue and the glitter and the resin can grab onto because it is so slick. And I didn't sand any of this just because it was like you can have glass particles and that's not okay. So, um, like I said, I'm just going to paint this with chalk and <laughs> silly little me, I only ended up painting two of the sides and then I ended up thinking about it and I'm like, oh wait, the next side is going to be like a much lighter one. So I ended up going <laughs> in with the other two sections as well. And you do want to try to have a pretty good coverage. Like you can see, you can see a little bit of that black from the base. So I'm just going to try my best to make sure that I can get it as white as I can before I move on to my glitter sections. So, um, yeah. And like I said, you can do this with whatever utensil or whatever um, cup you want to use. I'm just upcycling this old base because honestly I didn't really have a use for it and I needed a pencil holder now that I am at my new job. <laughs> so I am just going to let this dry and then I'm going to go in and remove the other two pieces of tape after I start to glitter my face. So I'm actually going to start with my darkest color, which is my black glitter. So that's the lead, the graphite of the pencil. So I am just using some Mod Podge to make sure that I get a pretty good coverage. Um, I do usually still do two coats of glitter either way. So even though I did do two coats of glitter, I am still going to try my best to get as best of a full coverage as I can. 
So after this dried, I am going to, well not after it dried, <laughs> before it dries, you want to make sure that you peel that um, stencil that you used to make the little um, wooden piece section. So um, the reason I pull off the stencil or tape or whatever it is that I'm using before the Mod Podge dries is because I don't want any of that glitter to lift and since I was using a more slick surface on this I thought it would have a like more of a chance that the glitter would lift and the glue would lift along with it. So here I am just going to go in with my yellow. Um, I actually should have done my pink first um, since the pink is a little bit darker than the yellow but it's fine. Um, I just made sure that my yellow was 100% dry before moving on to my pink. So um, if I can I will have the glitters linked in the description. I know that Two of the companies that I am using here, sadly, they did go out of, well, they didn't go out of business, but they shut down their doors. So you can just use whatever yellow you like, whatever black you like, whatever pink you like. If you don't want to use yellow or these um, colors, you can use whatever colors you like. So like I said, sadly, some of them did close their doors. But if I do know that the, some of the companies that I used are still with their doors open, I will have those glitters linked in the description so that you guys can purchase them if you like them. So now I'm going to go in with on the other side with that Mod Podge and I'm just trying to be as careful as I can that I don't get the Mod Podge on to that little triangle area, the little black area, um, so that I can go in with my chalk paint and then go in with the glitter. So pretty much this is just repeating. I'm just going to um, finish glittering this and then remove that other piece of tape that I have on here so that when my glue dries I don't have that problem of my glue lifting and my um, glitter lifting along with it. So like I said, I removed that tape and now I am just going to try my best to um, not get glue in that little area which is the silver area that I that the pencil has or like the little um, metal part that it has in some of the pencils. So. I am just going to try my best to get this fully covered and go in with my pink. So then after that I am going to let this completely dry and then brush off any excess glitter that I might have or that didn't stick when I was Mod Podging for the first time brush off any of the excess glitter and then I'm going to go in with the second coat before moving on to the next step of the um, pencil holder, holder here.
So I did actually kind of forget to hit the record button when I was doing the brown and the silver on this, on the pencil part. So I am sorry for that. But now moving on to the, um, onto the paper side, I am using my Mod Podge and I am going in with Maestra Magic from Maestra Creations. It's kind of like an opal glitter, which is super cute, super shiny. It is amazing. And um, I will have that link in the description. So, like I said, I did kind of forget to <laughs> um, also record the part where I used my chalk paint to paint these two sides in white. But, um, like I said, it's no big deal now you guys are seeing it <laughs> so i am just going to be using a makeup brush and applying the mod podge trying to get it as even as possible i didn't notice when i had picked up this vase to upcycle it that it was kind of lumpy in some areas so <laughs> it is a little wonky in some areas but it's okay um, so now I also kind of forgot to <laughs> record the part where I was putting the vinyl strips on the pencil side, but that's pretty um, easy going. I will have a tutorial coming up um, where I am going to do a pencil tumbler and I will show you how. I put the vinyl strips on that. So with these sides that I am putting the paper side, I am just kind of eyeballing how I'm going to place the vinyl strips. And I'm also going to place a red line down the middle just to give it a little bit more of that look of paper. I also kind of debated on whether or not I wanted to put um, the like little holes where the paper would go, kind of have it like a three ring binder paper, but I opted not to do that. <laughs> uh, what I did do, I put a little red piece of um, holographic vinyl or not really holographic, it's mostly metallic vinyl that I um, I had. I honestly don't remember where I got it, but <laughs> I will do my best to find a super cute metallic red for you guys and have it in my Amazon favorites. The holographic vinyl that I used for the stripes for the notebook side, I got that from Tech Wrap, but I got it through Amazon. So I will have that also listed in my Amazon favorites. If you would like to purchase that holographic vinyl, it's going to be there. So to finish this off, I am just going to be placing my name on the vase just so that, um, you know, I can have my own little area, <laughs> my own little thing, kind of like having it on a paper so I am just going to see which side I wanted to place this on and after I place this I am going to also um, add two vinyl strips on the side on the sides just to kind of break up the notebook side and the pencil sides um, it to be honest, it kind of just looked a little more put together as well with these two um, black strips that I'm going to be adding to the 
sides. So, um, like I said, you don't have to, but I just thought it made it look a little bit more put together. So, um, if you guys do end up trying this out, I would love to see your creations, your upcycling. <laughs> um, I just really needed a pencil holder to keep the pencils for the kiddos that I work with now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, after I finish this, I am going to put some epoxy on it. And like always, I am so sorry. I do not have a specific amount of epoxy that I am going to put on here um, on this particular project because I do epoxy mostly in batches because I want to just kind of take advantage that I am already mixing epoxy so I kind of just mix a larger quantity of it so that I can get my cups finished a little sooner <laughs> rather than later and then that way I can have some videos for you guys and um I think I did do about four coats of epoxy on this particular project. Like I said, it was a little lumpy, but it ended up looking super cute. And this is my little setup that I have in my class. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.